Okay, I'm doing a real quick setup video on how I got Smart Audio VKey X Power Control back to my uh, transmitter and can control it through the uh, slider dial. And it's pretty simple. Just connect your uh, into the computer configurator. Wait for your prompts. After you get your prompts, connect. Let it read. Once it's finished reading, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go into the configuration tab. And for me, it was easiest just to go into the full parameter list. And you want to find an open RC channel that can handle at least uh, six positions. So it covers the full spectrum of uh, your VTX power if you got like five settings or something. Like I said, go to open the configuration tab and uh, go to the full parameter list. And then just scroll down until you find an open RC channel on your FC. And then for me, it was uh, actually RC channel 9 on the jumper. The Jumper Giaki 800 millimeter wing. You just keep scrolling until you find whatever one on the FC you're using. But like I said, for the Giaki, it turned out to be channel 9. And then you want to go to RC options. Well, RC X, whatever options, like me, is RC options. And it'll be empty zero and uh you want to punch in 94 go up here write the params and if you read through here you will see what everything is for and 94 is for vtx power control now also if you didn't set your vtx and all up yet you can scroll down to vtx and set your vtx up to only unlock you don't need to set it to pit mode or anything because the dial you can set it to pit mode on the dial so just set it to unlock which should be like vtx option i think the number is eight actually just to show you what i used Just keep scrolling down. I was paying the butt. I could have did it fast. Yeah, VTX option 8, which is just unlock. If you hit it, we know that you can go up there and see it. Boom, unlock. Go over there, you know, write the params like you do everything else. And also, you got to go into the VTX and set, you know, of course, enable that if you haven't already. But you probably have if you're at this point. But like I said, all you're going to do is go in and set up an RC channel that can handle six positions or more. Once you've done that, you know, uh, you're going to back out, save your configuration, disconnect. And then you're going to open up your transmitter model and go to mixers tab and find that rc channel that you label vtx power and l label it vtx and set it up for the slider and then once you set it up for the slider uh save it back it out turn the vtx off reboot the fc and reboot turn on the fight I mean, the transmitter and everything should be working fine to where you have VTX power control. I'm using the TBS Unify Pro 1000 milliwatt VTX. And remember, in the menu of the VTX on the button, make sure you have it set to smart audio. As well as setting the RC channel up to number 94 RC options in the mission planner. And make sure that channel can carry six positions to cover the full spectrum of your VTX power. 
and remember to assign it to the slider in the mixers tab of your model in your transmitter and you should be good to go. I got it. Started off 400 max. Take it all the way back down. 